Hello again, children. So, um, today we're going to be discussing Mr. Rectangle. Now, Mr. Rectangle is a very interesting shape, and he wants to know his area. Now, we'd like to help him with our previous knowledge, but our previous knowledge that I discussed in the last video was area equals chu triangle balloon squared. Now, this won't, this won't be very helpful for Mr. Tri uh, rectangle, because a, um, a rectangle is different from a square, as in that the, that the lengths are not the same, uh, the same magnitude. So, he's going to quickly have to tell me what the length of his sides are. That. Okay, so he's telling me that the difference in his lengths is 2, which will be important later, and his sides are 5 and 3. Now we're going to have to compute his his area. Now, what we want to do to compute his area is relate um, relate his triangle balloon in the square formula to a rectangle. Now, if we take 2 times his triangle balloon, which if you do simple Pythagoras theorem stuff that you probably learned in first or kindergarten, um, you get this which would be the 5, 3, um, 5, 3, and with the hypotenuse is that over 2 squared is the uh, triangle balloon of this, of this geometric shape. Now he's very happy that we know that. But um, there's also another problem that makes him kind of sad is that this isn't really his area. This is his area if he was a square. But we can make him happy again by using this part of an equation, which is length. Can't see that. Length one minus length two squared over two. Okay. Now, what this is doing, essentially, is relating his area, well, his, his shape, to a square. You're going to learn a little bit more about that in fifth grade, but um, for now, we're just going to focus on the fourth grade application. Now, hit one length minus the other one is going to be two. Now, it doesn't matter that much, because... Um, be uh, I mean, it doesn't matter which way you have it, because it, where we're finding the magnitude, the absolute value. So, we go ahead and, sol and solve this. We find area is equal to 15 arbitrary units. Always remember the arbitrary units. Now, if you, if you want a geometric representation of what this actually means, it means that the square area of <coughs> one triangle balloon, two triangle balloon. Um, now that's this part of the equation, which is the square area. Now what we do is mine. We take one length minus the other one, which is two, which is four. Then, and then we divide that by you know that'd be two, obviously. So what you do is you just take a little bit out of this one because you're subtracting and you have the area which is a equals 15 arbitrary units now look how happy he is he's so happy right now that we know his area he's gonna call up all his other rectangle friends and he's going to tell them how happy he is that they know well, that we know his area now he also has another friend called <laughs> called the triangle. Now this only works for isosceles right triangles, which you probably already know that term. You probably learned that in pre-K, but um, it's the equation's essentially the same, except the uh, the entire thing is over two. So you have triangle balloon squared minus the magnitude of one length minus the other one squared 
over 4. Now I'm not going to do this for you because this is a little bit too easy, but you should be able to handle it since you've probably mastered the triangle balloon already. Okay, well, good luck on your test tomorrow. I hope this was helpful. Have a nice day.